What's up, Cal gang? It's eight in the morning and no one else is out here doing it like me, but we got a line and a girl problem, right? All right, so it tells us that this is our line and girl and this is our curve and it wants us to solve it, yeah? So uh, first thing, we're in a Green's theorem, you know, section. We're gonna do Green's theorem. So let's, let's first check that Green's theorem works, right? Let's, let's graph our line, right? X squared plus y squared is equal to four. It's a circle with radius of two, right? I hope you know that by now, otherwise, uh, might be struggling with uh, calculus three a little bit. All right, so this is our line, right? And uh, hmm. so let's let's say it goes this way, right? Because it does. It goes from uh, yeah. That's how it works, right? Something like that. All right. So what do we do? All right. Our Green's theorem tells us that if our field is a closed simple region that goes counterclockwise, then our line integral on this is equal to the derivative of p with respect to x and the derivative minus the derivative of p with respect to y over our region, right? So we look at our region, it's simple, it's closed, there's no holes inside of it, and it goes counterclockwise. So, perfect, right? Let's go ahead and solve it. All right, so first we need to find the derivative of q with respect to x. So this is q, because it's corresponding to y, and this is p, because it corresponds to x. So the derivative of q with respect to x is going to be obviously negative three x squared, the derivative of p with respect to y is equal to 3y squared. All right, so let's go ahead and put it into an integral. So we're going to use polar on this, obviously. So it's going to be the double integral. So obviously our, uh, our radius goes from 0 to 2, and we go full circle around, so 0 to 2 pi. And then, so it's going to be negative 3x squared minus 3y squared r dr d theta. But you'll notice my error here is that I have x's and y's with my r. So of course, I need to replace the x's and y's with r's, or you know, whatever it is. So we know that when we use polar, x turns into r dr d theta, or not r dr d theta, it turns into r cosine of theta, so negative three r squared cosine squared of theta minus three r squared sine squared of theta. All of this multiplied by r dr d theta. So what are we gonna do? We're integrating with r first, so we can bring out negative three because we have that. So zero to two pi, zero to two. So our negative three is out there, so it's gonna be r cubed, let's bring out an r cubed, and then we're gonna have uh, cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta, dr d theta. But you'll know that cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta is equal to zero. It's not equal to zero, it's equal to one. So you can just really erase all this, say that it's one. And then we're left with a super easy integral. Let's solve it. All right. So it's gonna be negative three, zero to two pi, and that's gonna be r to the fourth over four from zero to two, which is equal to negative three, the integral from zero to two pi. Um, so to the fourth, 16 over four, so it's gonna be four d theta, of course, I forgot that. So then you know what you can do from here. That negative two is gonna come down because there's nothing else for theta, so it's gonna be eight pi times negative three. So it's gonna be equal to negative 24 pi. Yeah, that's how you use Green's theorem to solve these kind of problems. Sorry for the low energy in this video. It is eight in the morning and no one else is out here doing it like I'm doing it. But yeah, negative 24 pi. So you solve these kind of problems using Green's theorem. So yeah, good luck on your calc homework and uh, I believe in you guys.